Alright guys, welcome back to another part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Coming back to the camp to... Did it really just... I was actually coming back here to... Talk to Micah, but I could've went over to John, but... Oh well, I'm already here. Do the mission with Micah. Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey Molly, where's Dutch? Well... However it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. Fat man. I met man. a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> I kind of love Dutch's accent. He's got that real old cowboy rasp into his accent. Alright, let's go. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. You know, yeah, I don't see this going I've too well. I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. I'm just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had. Pinkerton's coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm. Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look. You ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us, hmm? Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As 
Would I? I recognize that accent. I think Micah is the same voice actor as the guy in The Walking Dead and the guy that plays Trevor in GTA. Old Driscoll's from the look of him. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Not if they watch us and see where I get put. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just, I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I, I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Yeah, I actually almost, I'm like 95% right, sure that You're Micah is the same guy. There. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yeah, I'm about 95% sure yeah. that he is definitely the guy that plays in The Walking Dead and the guy who voice acted Micah, or not Micah, uh, Trevor in GTA. Okay, come on. Just random rubble in the middle of nowhere. Looks like something dead right there. And that's cool. Hello, Dutch. Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A <sighs> lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here, Gome? Is this thing over? <laughs> yep, I figured. I knew someone was probably going to come up, especially since if they're pretty much being followed. I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Column's right, we can draw them all back. 
true. Where'd Column and Patrick uh, head off to? In the town, I think this. He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got him! I got him! Did I kill you? Oh, not yet! <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Uh, not yet. But I will. Did I die? This is crazy. <laughs> yep, I knew this was going to be a bad idea. <laughs> Especially since we've seen them Finally. up in the hills. Put his weapons over there! Upside down. You can swing on your shackles to reach the metal file. Swing right, swing left. Swing right, swing left. had to be a freaking painful. Oh, he's gonna pour gunpowder on it too. And then he's gonna pour wax on it or burn it. Shoot your hole. I don't want to go to Mexico. 
want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? You didn't have a gun? Are you kidding me? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <laughs> Trying to aim for the head, but there you go, that works. You gotta aim a little off. Where's this gun at? There's a gun logo over here. There it is. Oh, this is all my belongings. Alright, how many of those? Got some bombs, got more of the throwing knives. I'm gonna use those just if I have to. Oh, there's my horse. So they're patrolling the roads around the cabin. Evade them and escape the area. Can I go down? I can barely see. This is intense. I did not think this mission was going to turn out this way. Like, he is seriously hurt. Arthur is, like, super resilient. is probably just gonna like literally bring him home. Watch, they're probably already all gone. Maybe. Scrimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty. Tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw. Will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. It 
it would take a while to recover <clears throat> to recover from something like that. Like, I mean, maybe not too long, but it would take a while. Yeah, see, it was a few weeks. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Damn, his hair has gotten seriously long. Your beard won't grow any longer unless you use hair tonic. Each use of hair tonic will allow your beard to grow a little bit longer. Where do I use hair tonic? Let me check. I'm curious about that. Tonic. Hair, hair, horse. Probably something you gotta like buy. No, I don't got none. You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch? Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. You are starting to unnerve me, friend. I don't, I don't think you want me any more unnerved than I already am. Oh, man, he's getting jittery. Probably hasn't slept in a while. I think I caught you at a bad time. Just don't play games, Arthur. I ain't. I need to shave. Where is my... What's oh, this one right here? Right next to it. Oh man, look at his hair. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. This is the only way it'll get longer. Can you do just hair? What's the point of taking down the beard if you can't take the hair off? That sucks. <clears throat> I'm just gonna let the beard grow out. I'm gonna have to find that hair stuff. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this one right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Listen, Morgan. Or I'm maybe sorry. after this guy says, I'm "Sorry, I, I, I thought they would shoot me, not you." What happened? Yeah, the whole thing was odd. I kept waiting for for them to jump us, and then they left, and we assumed we'd meet you on the trail back. Never showed up. No, I was getting special guest treatment from Como Driscoll. Uh, so I heard. I'm sorry. One time, I, I, I try to be wise and Man, Arthur can't even look at him. I am full of myself. That'll teach me. Well, now I'm going to end it. And I will see you guys in the next one.